Hello, this is Philip and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this episode, I will show you how to use the internal editor of KOS to write your script and to run it. In the last episode, I wrote my script directly in the terminal. It was good to uh, run a simple script with script with only one or two instructions, but uh, we saw that it wasn't a good way to write a longer script and a more complex script. For that, uh, we will use the editor, the editor. And uh, to open the editor, you just have to write edit and then uh, the name of your script you want to edit. Uh, for example, test.ks because every uh, KOS script uh, has the extension uh, dot ks and of course I finish my instruction with the period character. Um, this means I want to edit the uh, program, the script test.ks, but this script doesn't exist already. So KOS automatically creates a new file and this file is saved on this uh, uh, volume called one. The volume one is the ship, so this means that the um, this script is now saved inside your ship, and more precisely, inside your processor here. The volume zero is uh, the archive, and the archive is the Kerbal Space Center. More precisely, it's your computer. If you um, if you save a script on the uh, volume zero, it will be saved directly in your computer, and uh, so you 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 can use it again with uh, multiple ships. Uh, we'll talk about uh, about this later. For now, just we have here a new window, the editor. This is the internal editor uh, that comes with uh, KOS and I can write my script stage period and I can press the uh, enter button without executing the script. I can do it as long as I want. So I can write my script uh, as long as I want. So uh, the script was stage and after wait one second and then stage again and wait until um, the vertical speed is less than zero and then stage again. Okay, this is my script and I can read it, read it more easily now. And uh, to be even more uh, easily to read, I can add some comments to comment uh, a part, you just have to comment a line, you just have to uh, put those two slashes here. Uh, for example, here is uh, the booster. So, booster, and uh, after the clamps, and after that, the shoot. Okay. Uh, this is not a KOS code, it's a comment. So when uh, KOS will read my script, it will skip that line and directly run that line, stage, and then wait one. The empty line here will not be uh, read and the comment here will not be read and then stage and wait until. Uh, in this way, your script is more, uh, it's easier to, to read and it's better because uh, if you want to share your script with, with someone else, uh, it will be easier to read for uh, this uh, person. And if you want to change a script, maybe you wrote a script a year ago and uh, you open it 
again and uh, it will be m way more uh, it will be easier to 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 read uh, if you added uh, a year ago some comments okay so uh, let's save that script okay it is saved uh, to one uh, test <coughs> uh, dot ks i can exit the editor okay so the script is now uh, stored in inside my processor here if I want to uh, see it, uh, I can write here in the terminal list. And here I have all the script stored inside my processor. For now, I, uh, only, I have only one uh, code. And the size of this code is 91 bytes. Remember, uh, this processor uh, has a space disk of 5000 bytes okay i used 91 bytes so the free space remaining is 4909 bytes okay so I, I have a lot of memory left here now if i want to run my script i just have to write run tests I can write the .ks or not. Run test. Let's go. I put, I press the uh, enter button. As you can see, the script is uh, working. Okay, and the script is working from the processor. That is very very important. If uh, if you uh, don't have access to any communications here, you uh, you won't be able to run uh, your script if it is not stored inside the processor. And this is important to know. Uh, unless you have chosen the second option when uh, you start uh, a game with KOS, maybe you have chosen the second option and in this case you can run any script even if you don't have any uh, communications. Okay, so uh, the script is uh, finished here. Um, maybe I want to change it and uh, in this case I can type uh, edit test again. If I don't want to uh, write it again, I can use the arrow, the up arrow of my keyboard and it will repeat all the line I have written. Okay, so edit test again and okay, I can see my uh, script here and if I want to change uh, something I can for example if I want to wait 0.5 seconds I can change it and I can I can I can save it okay save changes to one test etc okay the problem is uh, that that script is stored in this particular processor for this ship that means if I uh, recover my uh, ship or if I revert flight to launch, my script will disappear. Let's have a look. List. Well, my script isn't here anymore. If I want to uh, use this script, I have to write it from the beginning that script was small okay I need 10 seconds to uh, write it down but if my script was uh, bigger than that more complex than that how can I do I can't use the internal editor to uh, to, to write a script I need to save it elsewhere than in this processor for that ship okay I can I can use an external editor and I can save it inside the archive, the volume zero. 
and uh, that means I can save it into my computer, my real computer at home. So I, I am able to use all the scripts uh, I have stored in my computer for uh, all my games and for all my ships. And uh, I will explain it to you uh, another time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.